It's been nearly five years since OSHA revised the walking working surface standards back in 2018. But even in 2023, many people aren't aware how those new standards relate to fixed ladders. If you're looking for a starter list of which ladder dimensions to pay attention to, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll break down the five most important measurements to check for. Number one, ladder height is 24 feet. The easiest change to remember has to do with ladders that extend 24 feet or more above a lower level. Ladders that are 24 feet or higher can no longer use safety cages as a means of protecting workers. Ladders that were newly installed or changed after November 19, 2018 require a ladder safety system or personal fall arrest system. Number two, ladder rung width is 16 inches. OSHA states that ladder rungs, steps, and cleats need to have a minimum clear width of 16 inches for fixed ladders. You'd be surprised how many times our inspection teams still see ladders that do not meet this minimum standard. How wide should my ladder be? The answer depends on what kind of lifeline system you have on your ladder. Want a recommendation? A wider climbing surface is best, since it allows easy accommodation for the ladder lifeline system. And better yet, it makes the ladder easier to climb. Number three, ladder standoff clearance is seven inches. Another frequent stumbling block, literally, is the requirement that the ladder provide a minimum of seven inches of clear distance between the ladder rungs and the building. This is true for permanent obstacles like pipe or conduit as well. This seven inch clearance protects the worker climbing the ladder from tripping because of the narrow space between the ladder and the building. This is much easier thanks to the new fixed ladder design which allows for accommodation around obstructions. Number four, access level grab bar extension is 42 inches. To protect the worker exiting a ladder, OSHA requires a 42 inch high grab bar extension above the access level or landing platform at the top of the ladder. Number five, access level extension width is 24 inches. This last measurement needs to extend above the access level, a minimum of 24 inches but no more than 30. This makes it easier for the climber to reach both handrails. We've only covered a few of the key measurements in this video, but we found that the vast majority of the ladders we failed during assessments missed the mark on one of the measurements we've discussed today. So I hope you paid attention. For a complete summary of all the updated OSHA regulations pertaining to fixed ladder systems or any other fall protection systems, visit our website at www.fallprotect.com. Thank you.